everyone, I'm Deborah from Deborah Adele's Craft Room. Thanks for joining me tonight. We're going to paint Santa's better half, Mrs. Santa. These are the paints that we're going to use tonight. Americana acrylic paints by Deco Arts. There'll be a list in the description box below the video. The first thing we do is get a gourd. Drill a hole in the top, put a hairpin in for the hanging loop as described in my preparing a gourd to become an ornament video. And you start to paint. I started the back of this already. And you just apply the paint in long smooth strokes. You don't want to leave any ridges because the ridges will stay after they're dry. Okay, so there you go. First coat on this. You'll have to put one more, possibly two. You set it down to dry. That's it. I have a gourd here now. What I did was I drew a face around with a pencil and applied the first coat to the face. Now you can apply the second coat. And there you have it. Mrs. Santa's face. This is the gourd that's going to become the final Mrs. Santa because what I did was I matched the gourds. They have this, a similar style. The front tilt, same shapes. The Mrs. is a little smaller than the Mr. So this is the, going to be the gourd that I finish on. First thing we do okay. to do this Santa Mrs. Santa is shade her face. Put a little bit of water on your brush, scrape it off, put some paint on, and go around the face with the with the red iron oxide. Okay, her face is shaded. Now we're going to put some blush on her face before we put the nose and the mouth and everything so that she's properly adorned. I'm going to get a scruffy brush for this. Okay. I use this color, this kind of a peachy color because it matches the red iron oxide. Okay, she's blushed up. The next thing we do is get a pencil. I have a mechanical pencil because it has a nice sharp point. And you sketch a nose on. Try not to goof it up because you don't want it to, you don't want to see lines. There we go. Little little nose there. 
and in order to make this nose have a little bit of depth to it we're going to get some we're going to get some uh, paint top toffee paint and paint that again another layer but this time try to leave a ridge all around the nose with the paint Smooth it out in the middle. Try to leave the ridges on the sides. See how that is? I don't know if you can see the ridges, but if you don't leave a ridge, we'll work it out. Okay, I used a number three round for that. Okay, now we let that dry, and then we start to, we pounce a hat. You do it the same way you did Santa's beard. You follow the lines of the shading around the outside. She's going to have one of those furry hats from the 60s. going around pouncing of course gives it a little bit of texture you don't want to cover up all of the shading because she has to look rosy. Make it a little thinner down at the bottom. Wider on the sides and at the top. you see any spots where there's too much of the toffee color showing through, you just pounce it again. Make sure you like how it looks. If you want, you can put a little bit of a puff here, like like bangs for her. There you have it. That's her hat. The brim of her hat all the way around and a little puff of bangs in the front. Okay, we have to let the nose dry a little bit longer before we shade it, so I'm going to dip dot the eyes on. I'm going to use the bottom of the uh, number eight flat to do the eyes. Put a little dip, 
pull this out a little so you can see it. You dip down, straight down, pick it up, put your pinky someplace to balance you, and above the nose, put a dot. Straight down. Here's another. There you go. Mrs. Santa and her two eyes. Now we're going to put some eyebrows on her because we're still waiting for the nose to dry. So you get some white and I have my number three round. I think I'll use a liner instead. You get kind of a glob like you did for Santa. Get that off there. Okay. You get kind of a glob and then you let me see if I can get it so you can see. Touch it down, pull a little. There's a there's an eyebrow. Now again, touch it down, pull a little. And there you have it. We're gonna put some eyelashes on Mrs. Santa. We didn't put any eyelashes on Mr. Santa, but that's okay. So I got the black and I twirled it out with the, with the, uh, the paint on the liner. And then you just one, two, three eyelashes. And you turn it over and you do it again. And you hope they're the same when you're done. <laughs> Pretty close. There you go. Next thing we'll do is holly leaves and holly berries on the edge of her hat. You get forest green, just like Santa. Then you get your number three round. And again, you make an angle here, angle here. These are the guidelines to where you want to put your holly leaves. Make your little curved in lines like a holly leaf should look. Fill it in. That one's a little wonky, but I like it anyway. Now, another one. Okay, two holly leaves are done. Try to keep your fingers out of those eyes because that's a mess when that happens. I'm going to do three gold dots now on the top of her hat like Santa's. Start in the middle, dip dot, dip dot, and dip dot, three of those. You can do some of these in different orders. If your eyes are already dry or your nose is already dry, then it doesn't matter what order you put these things on, as long as you don't have to put something on top of something else. Okay, now we're going to shade the nose, I think. I think we're ready for shading the nose. I have a number six flat for that. And I still have some red iron oxide on my plate that's 
wet. Put a little, a little touch of paint on your brush. I don't know if you could ever see these when I do that, but then you go along the top part of the nose like this. Right up to that ridge. Okay, her nose is shaded. The next thing you do is, with the Santa Red, you make the holly berries and her beautiful lips. Okay. You need a, a nice puddle just because they're all dip dots. Okay, dip dot in here and Touch down on the holly berry. Okay. And again, we'll be making a triangle of berries. One, two, three. Triangle of berries. Now we'll be doing the same thing to her lips, except for I think we need a smaller back of the brush. So I'm going to use my liner brush for this. I'm going to dip in and put one, one right next to it, and one underneath. And there you go, Mrs. Santa. Isn't she a beauty? Okay, now, other little things to do. We need to do the white shine on her nose. Little touch, bang. See, makes her into, well, she should powder her nose, is what she do, but, and then I think I have to wait a little bit for the eyes because they're still wet. Okay, now we're going to get some of the uh, deep burgundy that we used to paint the, the gourd in the beginning, and down here on the bottom of her hat, we're going to make a bow. There's half of it, you see? Put a little dot in the middle. And you're really not going to be able to see these hanging ties that are there, but if you make them thick enough, you might be able to see them. One, two. And I'm going to touch this up a little because it's different thicknesses. Okay. There you go, the little bow. I'm going to give it a shot now with the uh, dip dots for the eyes. I'm going to use a toothpick. Get it, put it into the white and touch the eye. Oh, that worked. Good. Touch the other eye. Yeah, that worked too. Oh, I'm so lucky. And there you have it. You're Mrs. Santa. Now, here's Mr. Santa. And don't they make quite a pair? Thank you very much for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell so that you get notifications 
for my future videos. I'll be painting a penguin in my next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.